Every day I'm hustling, not shitting on the show, but I'm just trying. Oh, I can't do it. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 15, Episode 11. Considering the absolute craptitude that was evident in the last episode, and after doing all the comment read-throughs with you guys, reading off your comments, I'm about to do something that I've never done before in the entirety of me reviewing Supernatural. I'm actually going to change my grade for the last episode. I gave it a 3. It rightfully deserves a 2. It was shit. I just gave out that review. Admittedly, I was doing a lot of wedding stuff because I was doing a show and I was getting all ready for this wedding event and whatnot and admittedly was not giving it my 100%. This episode, however, I did give a lot more of my attention to and this actually wasn't bad. It was actually decent. This is essentially a big homage to the hustler or the color of money. Taking the whole pool thing, the very thing that has always been talked about in this show and they used it as a pivotal story element taking this forever side element of the show something that's just always been in the background and making it the main focus of an episode is actually a good idea in terms of a final season this is how you properly homage the show this is how you properly give credit and fan service to an element of a show that has been around for 15 years. Essentially, after the absolute stupid writing that was the last episode, this episode has them going to a pub or wherever in Alaska. Game of pool is fought over with luck. And instead of winning money or whatnot, you just win luck. But however, there is a little bit of a trick and a little bit of a dark magic to the area. And we find out a little bit about Greek gods, the god of luck, and all this other stuff. Dean and Sam are not only trying to win their own luck back, they're actually trying to win everyone else in the building out, trying to save everyone from this trap that they're in. After Sam loses gracefully, he does win in a sense because the god of luck sees these two as heroes and lets them go, lets everyone else go because she wants them to get their chance at God. All the while though, there is this very flimsy kind of Castiel story on the side. So flimsy in fact that it resonates with how the Justice League was introduced in Batman v Superman. Castiel finds out that Jack is back. We find out that Jack is back from some random cop randomly calling Castiel with a random security video. Admittedly, they also use these super ancient angel things that admittedly I totally forgot about were in the show. And considering that someone brought this up in the comment video, that angel heaven is supposed to be like a near lockdown, like almost destroyed because of how few angels there are. Jack eating the hearts of these demi-angels or whatever the hell they are, probably can't be helping much with that. Supposedly what he's doing, gathering strength, to kill God. Really thought they were gonna go somewhere different with this. If not replacing him, something, but weren't we just told that we couldn't kill him because the whole universe would just go in complete wacko? Maybe they used up all the creative juices for building up towards the episode, like just how the episode was crafted, but I'm not entirely certain about the whole Jack element. However, the pool element, the whole luck sort of aspect was done very well, taking an incredibly stupid concept, stupid concept, and actually making a decent episode out of it. It's kind of like Ouija, Origins of Evil. Horrible Michael Bay horror movie prequel that actually turned out to be very good. I did like how they used the jazz music, just how they shot the pool stuff. Very well done, all actually really well put together. So in the end, I'm gonna give this episode a five out of seven. It's after the last shit fest that we just had, I'm surprised at how good this was. I'm not going to deny it. Make sure to give me your comments whether you think this episode was good or bad. I'll be reading off the best ones once again when I do my comment video before the next episode again. Anyways, that's all for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.